Oh dear. Well, I'm not getting back on that. Goodbye, world. What's up, everybody? And welcome back to Satisfactory. Now, you're going to see here, between episodes, once again, I've done a, a tiny, tiny, really a minuscule amount of work. See now that's similar to what you got to what we ended with last time. I've just added in, actually about five minutes ago, a conveyor belt here, which is bringing in some lovely limestone for us that we can grab off the conveyor belt there. Now it follows over here, works its way down, follows with the copper and iron, and comes into this box. And there we are. Now the main changes are these things. So, as we discovered in the last episode, you can stack storage containers. And I was running into a problem of this one. It completely filled up with copper, and then we just weren't producing anymore. So, we've got a second one. And we have now an absolute ton of copper. Not only that, I went an absolute mile that way. And I set up another copper farm. So, we've got this one here making the ingots for us goes into this one which is empty comes out the back comes round and into there now if we look in here ta-da! ton of copper in there now unfortunately I've only got one thing set up making iron because I'm a bit of a moron and it's mainly iron that I'm actually short on at the moment I mean there we go, got 100 ingots in there, 100 ingots there, and then 500 plates there. So as you can tell, I'm turning it all into plates at the moment, which, ooh, you know what, I'm going to change this and tell it to make some rods for a while, because I could do with some rods. There we go, now that's going to make rods instead. Now, what I've brought you all back here to show is, oh yeah, I also turned this around because it was getting in the way. If we interact here, ta-da, we have upgraded our logistics and we're going to be able to make some changes to the conveyor belt. So a conveyor splitter and a conveyor merger. So what we're going to be able to do is turn one conveyor belt into two, or into three actually, or we can turn three conveyor belts into one. This is going to be useful for separating up conveyor belts to go into multiple smith uh, forges. So. Let's click launch on that pod. Milestone reach. Conveyor belts can now merge and split to increase the complexity and efficiency of your factory. I'm not sure. Display will help you measure and improve the activity of individual buildings to aid with optimization. It's nice having you. Not sure what launching that pod did, but I can still see it up there in the distance. It's a tiny little dot and... And I'm pretty sure it's gone. Okay, so if we go in our build section, logistics, we can now make a conveyor splitter and a conveyor merger, which is gonna be useful, most likely for iron probably, so we can set up a second miner here and merge the conveyor belts into one so we're getting the same iron production as we are for copper. I'm pretty happy with that. Now if we go and look at our pod will return in 1 minute 49 seconds. Okay. Now if we go here we can go into the tier 2 and I saw this thing here called jump pads which looked really interesting. Jump pad jumps you upwards through the air, forwards through the air and at an angle. And um, upwards of the air, forwards through the air, and a soft landing. This looked really interesting, so I am going to get to work on making these. Pod will return in a minute. Okay, so we have got, yeah, like a minute or so to get the resources sorted. So I need 200 rods, which is why I set that making rods, 200 plates, and 100 wiring, which, uh, cables, not wires, which should be pretty straightforward since I have an absolute ton 
of copper. Let's just grab that. Excellent. Right, I'll be back in a couple minutes. A pod's back. Yay. I'm not sure what launching the pod actually did, but it has returned. Alright, I am back. The time is 1.33am. I have just turned the heating on. I need to remember to turn it off again in about 15 minutes or so. Right then. Boom. Launch the pod. Bye. Right then. What do we need? Is it organization? It is. So a jump pad will take two reinforced iron plates each. Okay, that's fine. That's, I believe, just concrete and iron. Oh no, that is nails and the plates. Ah, oh, yeah. So for that, we need iron rods. We got this. Okay, let's see how many of these little jump pods we can make. Jump pads, sorry. Right. So that should be enough. And we need a bunch of these. So we want to make two iron plates. And we still need eight wires. We can make four. Cables. Cable, 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 cable. I haven't got any in there. Up, oh, I had a ton of. Okay. There we go. Right, excellent. So we can make. Oh, that takes biomass. That's interesting. Jump pad. Let's put it right in the middle here. Ah, okay. Needs to be powered. Did I just trip out that generator? I think I might have just tripped the generator. Oh no, you are out of fuel. Okay, fuel is dealable. Nope, I have tripped the generator. Okay, too many things connected to it. How do I delete that connection? I think just have to delete the actual pad. Okay, let's go jump pad. Let's place it again. Let's see if we can connect this power line. Let's take it, stick it there. And then I have my, can't afford, damn. Okay, that's a pain. Now, who wants to bet I kill myself on the first use? I am willing to say that I do. Here we go, it's powered. Okay. That's cool. That is very, very cool. Oh, I like this. So if I stay perfectly still... Whee! I could probably use jump pads to get up onto the top of there. I want to get on top of that rock. Whee. Wow, this map is actually pretty huge. Uh, I'm guessing that is the edge of the world there. We can't go past there. Hmm. This thing is so cool. Now, we've got to do the death test. Do we die? I'm saying yes. No! It has taken us down to about a tenth of a heart. Well, a fifth of a heart. Okay. You almost out of power? No, you're good for a little bit more. So are you. Right. This thing is fun. Hold it. Well, I'm not getting back on that. Goodbye, world. At least we know I have a body. Okay, so. There is something I want to show you all. And I think that this lovely machine here might come in handy for it. 
However, I might need to make a... What am I looking for? Production, special, power, logistics, foundations, walls, organization. I might need to make one of these jelly ones as well. For that, I need 200 biomass. I have got my U jelly landing pad. Let's quickly power this thing up. Can't afford. Do not have enough wires. Okay. So this is a giant landing pad thing. Alright. Is actually a decent size as well. So yeah, I just need a bunch of cables. I am so organized in this game. It amazes me. Right then. Ooh, that's cool. Ah, oh, look at this. Okay, so we landed it really slowly. That's... Okay, and it's a pretty big target as well. Ah, oh, that's cool. Right, so in we go. Flying through the sky, and then... Nice, easy fall. Okay, let's um, pick these up. Let's take them over here to this lovely tower we've got here. Let's put our jump pad. Let's put it like this. Now we're going to need to power it. Is that going to be able to reach the line over there? Yes, it is. Right. I'm just going to jump on it first, see what happens, see how high up there we can get. Work out where we need to have the jelly pad. Okay. Nope, no, 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 no. So we need to aim. Sorry. Forgot about the jelly pad. When building, always place the jelly pad as well. So if we put the jump pad here. And because I'm being smart. Put the jelly pad here. There we go. Look at me being all intelligent. Now, if I can... You know what? Can I... Have I got everything I need? Yes, I have. I'm going to bring that to there. And I'm going to connect it... To that one. Perfect. There we go. My cable league is an utter mess in this place. But... There we go. Right, so we come up here. And... Oh, dear. Ooh, that was a very soft landing, luckily. Okay. Let's move it forwards a little bit. Ooh, you know what? Let's go for a tilted one. So that's going to jump us backwards. So if we place it here... Let's connect it up. And then we go... Whoa, okay. Goodbye, me. That shot us very far. Why did that not work? Yeah, that should have shot me in the right direction. Okay. Let's um, not play with you until I'm ready. Let's have this a little bit closer. There we go. And... So we come in, and we make the landing. Look at that. Perfect. Oh dear. Not so perfect. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Let's try this again. We go, We Are we able to build another jump pad? Can't afford. A player is in the way. So, we are going to want to make another jump pad. Here. Like that. Perfect. Then we're going to plummet in to that line there. And boom, we get straight up to the top. Ooh. Oh, that's my other copper mine over there, but what is this? Mercer Sphere Work in Progress 1. Have we got inventory space? Yes, we do. 
Okay. Well, that wasn't at all weird. Can we build up here? We can. That's what we like to see. Now, can we build out from here? Oh, we can. We can make ourselves a sky base. Missing concrete. What do we need to build foundations? Literally just concrete. Okay, let's go get us some. Ah, oh, that's so cool. Nice. We can make ourselves a giant ugly floating sky base up the top of there. Let's grab some of this stuff. And make us some concrete. I want to see what we can do up there. Because this could be very cool. Boom. I want to get in my base. There we go. Foundation. Look at this. This is nice. I'm thinking we go an extra one out this way. So we go like that, that, and then beautiful. Now where is... Okay, that second jump pad is there. Ramp. Can I... Can I rotate it? There we go. Oh, this could be perfect. This could be incredibly perfect. Whee! Into the jelly. Right, so. You come up here. You land on here. You come up here. And you land here. Look at that. Right, let's get some walls on this. Iron plates. And to get down, you just launch yourself off a cliff. That's so satisfying. A little bit morbid, maybe, but it's satisfying. There we go. Right, so we want to go for a nice... Oh, do we want to block out the view, though? Because this is a beautiful view. Can we not make... Hmm... Can we make windows? That <laughs> was really close. Right, have we got an upgrade here where we can make windows? Personal storage, conveyor walls, utility, tier 2, part assembly, obstacle clearing, walkways, utility, wall door center, wall door, gate. Okay, so we can make doors. Hmm. We might have to go for this. There we go, we have launched the pod. Oh, we've got an email. You have unlocked several structures aimed to provide the first needed to build basic factory infrastructure. Additionally, the biofuel blueprint will ensure improved fuel consumption of biomass. Ooh. We can make biofuel. Additionally, you can now we can. Space elevator, which is integral to your contribution to project assembly. Yes, I get it. You want me to build the space elevator. Okay, so we can make a doorway. These are the ones I wanted. The giant gates. Yeah, we can build quite a few of these. I think they'd make nice windows. Oh, you are out of fuel. That's not good. People, I have just found a cave. It looks creepy. Ooh. There are mushrooms here. It is really dark in here. There we go. We have where? I feel like there's going to be monstery, mean things in it. The music changed. Ooh. Summer's loop. It's another one of those weird ones. Is Eddie going to talk to us? Whatever our th robot's name is. Yep. Okay. Summer sloop. Alright. Um, no idea what mycelia is going to be used for. 
But all right, this is a cool cave. Oh, it goes on. Where does this go? Oh. Where are we? Is this another iron mine? Yeah. How far did we come? I, s I bet we've just literally just gone over that hill. That was it. So now we know when we need it, where we can get the mycelia stuff from. That's cool, I suppose. <laughs> kind of wishing. Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Don't die! Oh. Okay, we managed to kind of cheat the landing there. Okay, that was that was very very close. Okay, everything is once again powered. Let's turn the torch off. So we make it up here. We land here. We go up here. We donk our head on there, but we are fine. And now, let's get ourselves some of these lovely gates. Hmm. Do we put them there like that? Or thinking like that, and we're going to have a doorway here. Door center. Uh, now let's have the door on the right. Oh, no. Door on the left. Boom. Right. Let's give it a test. Oh, this, this makes me a little bit nauseous. Oof. Okay, right. Let's do this. Let's test this. Wee. We land. Oh dear. Oh no. Ooh. We almost died. Okay, that's fine. And we come up here, and we come in through our door, and we are home. Right. What can we build in here? I kind of would like to have this as my own little personal storage room. What was that? Oh, that's power line. Okay. Organization. Ooh, a lookout tower. I don't mind if I do. Um, we even have a ladder. Wow. Can we build another one on top of it? No, we can't. Okay. Wow. Look at that view. That there is covering the ravine of death, where I have got two but three dead bodies now. Wow. I really need to sort out my production system. So far in our factory, we have got a lot of copper, but not much else. I think... Hang on. Let's go down our ladder quickly. Oh. Kind of. I'm going to have to work out how to do that. Let's jump in the goo. That's fine. That's fine. My copper mine doesn't seem to be producing. No power. Okay. And my iron mine has no power as well. Well, that's not good. Okay. Both of them are completely dead. Can I make myself some of that fancy new biofuel? So we're going to need to make these. I can. Perfect. So each biofuel takes two, so we can make 54 of this lovely biofuel. Please be a perfect amount so I can just split the stack. No. So let's split it. There we go. Two stacks of 27. And... That is powered back up. That one is powered back up. Everything is back in production. And we have a watchtower. Can we get ceilings? And what do I need to make my own little storage box? A personal storage. That's ooh, plus five inventory slots. 
That's nice. I hope you've all enjoyed. I'm going to end off this third episode satisfactory here. Oh no, let's not end it off here. Let's end it off here. Just look at that. Goodbye everybody. Just a little side note for the end of the video. I realised I can actually run this game in much higher graphic settings. I've set everything to ultra and it now looks amazing. Look at that. It's so beautiful. And let's take the dive again. Ooh, uh, splat. So our nice little green tank is still pretty much the same. But look how much nicer everything looks. It's amazing. I love it. Our base up there is a bit ugly though. Goodbye again.